Hello students! Today, we're going to learn how to create an online survey and process the data you collect. By the end of this lesson, you will know how to design your own survey, ask the right questions, and analyze the results. Are you ready? Let's get started! After going through this lesson, you are expected to understand what an online survey is, identify and explore different online survey platforms, including Google Forms and SurveyMonkey. Learn the step-by-step -step process of creating a survey in Google Forms and SurveyMonkey. Discover important considerations when designing survey content. And learn how to process survey data from Google Forms and SurveyMonkey. First, let's define what an online survey is. An online survey, also known as an internet survey, is a way to collect information or feedback from people using the internet. It can be used to gather opinions, references, or data for research. These surveys are easy to create, distribute, and analyze, making them a popular choice for many. There are several platforms you can use to create online surveys. Two of the most popular ones are Google Forms and SurveyMonkey. Google Forms and SurveyMonkey are top choices for surveys for different reasons. Google Forms is a free and easy-to-use tool from a major tech company, while SurveyMonkey has been a go-to for creating surveys for over 20 years, even after a name change. Let's take a closer look at each. Google Form is a free tool provided by Google. It's user-friendly and integrates seamlessly with other Google services like Google Sheets. You can create different types of questions, customize the design, and easily share the survey with others. SurveyMonkey is another popular survey tool. It offers more advanced features compared to Google Forms, such as detailed analytics and the ability to create more complex surveys. However, some of these features may require a paid subscription. Here are the steps in creating a survey in Google Forms. First, go to forms.google.com and sign in with your Google account. Click on the blank form option to start a new survey. Give your survey a title and description. Add your questions. You can choose from different types like multiple choice, short answer, or drop down. Customize your survey by changing the theme color or adding images. And click on the send button to share your survey via email or link. Now, let's learn the steps in creating a survey in SurveyMonkey. Go to surveymonkey.com and sign in or create an account. Click on Create Survey and choose a template or start from scratch. Add your survey title and choose the type of questions you want to ask. You can customize your survey's appearance and add logic to guide respondents through different paths based on their answers. You may click Preview Survey to check how does your survey look like when sent to respondents. Once you're done, click Done. Click Collect Responses to share your survey. You may choose how would you like to collect responses to your survey. Although Google Forms and SurveyMonkey are both popular tools for creating surveys, they have some key differences. Here are their differences. Pricing. Google Forms is free to use with a Google account, while SurveyMonkey offers a free basic plan with limited features. But more advanced features require paid plans. Customization. In Google Forms, there are basic design customization options, like changing colors and adding images or logos, while SurveyMonkey offers more advanced customization, including branded themes, custom logos, 
and the ability to remove survey monkey branding on paid plans. Question types. Google Forms provides a variety of basic question types, including multiple choice, check boxes, short answer, and linear scale. While SurveyMonkey offers a wider range of question types, including advanced options like Likert scales, Net Promoter scores or NPS, and multiple rating options. Analysis and Reporting Google Forms has simple analysis with basic charts and graphs. Data can be exported to Google Sheets for further analysis. In SurveyMonkey, they have advanced reporting and analysis tools, including filters, cross-tabulation, and data segmentation. It also offers export options to Excel and SPS for more detailed analysis, but on paid plans. Third-party integrations. In Google Forms, it integrates seamlessly with other Google Workspace tools, like Google Sheets, Google Drive, and Gmail while SurveyMonkey integrates with a broader range of third-party apps and platforms, including Slack, Salesforce, MailChimp, and Microsoft Teams. User Interface and Ease of Use Google Forms is user-friendly and straightforward, especially for those already familiar with Google's ecosystem. While SurveyMonkey is slightly more complex due to the wider range of features, but still user-friendly with a more professional survey creation process. Templates Google Forms offers a few basic templates for surveys, quizzes, and feedback forms, while SurveyMonkey provides a large library of pre-built templates for various industries and survey types, including customer satisfaction, employee feedback, and market research. Collaboration Google Forms allows real-time collaboration with others on the same form, ideal for team projects within Google Workspace. While in SurveyMonkey, collaboration features are available, but more limited and often require paid plans for full functionality. Opening the account and knowing the basics of creating the survey are only half the process. The real work comes in designing an effective survey that elicits the information you're really after. Creating a survey without having a clue as to what you want from it will simply waste the time of all involved. When designing your survey content, bear the following in mind. First, keep your questions clear, focused, and relevant. Don't ask unrelated questions, as this might confuse or surprise the people answering making them less honest. Next, allow people to answer anonymously if possible, as this encourages honesty. If you need their names, explain how you will keep their information private, like showing results without naming individuals. Next, good survey questions are short, simple, relevant, and easy to understand. Avoid questions that assume too much or try to influence the answers. Also, save sensitive or personal questions for the end of the survey. People are more likely to finish the survey if these questions aren't at the beginning. Start with interesting questions. Next, keep the survey neat and easy to follow. Use white space and ask only one question per line. And finally, Test the survey before sending it out. This helps you spot any problems or confusing parts. Try it out with friends or family to see how they respond. Now, let's learn how to process your survey data in Google Forms. First, click on the Responses tab. You can view a summary of the responses or individual responses. For more detailed analysis, click on the green Sheets icon to export the data to Google Sheets. And now, let's proceed to the steps in getting responses in SurveyMonkey. In SurveyMonkey, click on the Analyze Results tab. Here, you can see a summary of the responses, and SurveyMonkey automatically generates graphs and charts for you. 
You can share and download your survey data as a CSV and PDF file for further analysis in Excel or other software. As easy as that. Great job, everyone! Now you know how to create your own online survey and process the data. Surveys are powerful tools to gather information. And with the skills you've learned today, you're ready to explore the world of online surveys. So, for your activity, using Google Forms or SurveyMonkey, gather information on how grade 6 students in your school study, what tools and resources they use, and which study techniques they find most effective. After processing your survey data, show your work to an adult or your teacher for review and feedback. Have fun creating. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you next time.